Welcome everybody to another World of Tanks replay. My name is Maxwell and this one is from the user TumTok22. He's driving the Jagdpanzer IV on an assault battle on Siegfried Line. Jagdpanzer IV is a tier 6 tank destroyer for the Germans. Not a fantastic tank destroyer, but I mean it's okay. It performs reasonably well at least. Not too terrible. It's good and it's okay. If we take a look at the hard stats, 145 pen, 220 average damage. Now, normally I don't like to show replays from tank destroyers, especially fixed body tank destroyers like this. The ones without turrets, just because the play style from them tends to be very static, a little bit campy, and let's be fair, not fantastically interesting to watch. But this one here has a fantastic, uh, a fantastic mix of aggression, skill, and tactical awareness, which just make this one an absolute joy to watch. As we see Tumtok heading into the town, it is an assault battle, and they are supposed to be capturing the base from the enemy team. And you see the enemy team has made a massive push up to the very north of the map straight away. So Tumtok notices that on the map, spins himself around, going to have a shot at who he can. Gets a good hit on both two tanks so far. Going to try and get more on the T-3045. He's just playing a little bit more cagey now. That one... Just scores a zero damage critical hit, and this T-3045 decides to back away, but not before taking another hit. Looks like that one actually took the track off as well. Can he get the last bit of damage? He can indeed. And that's a very quick first kill of this match. Obviously, with this bit of 9.15 replay, I don't have any mods installed. So we're not going to have any of the damage panel or anything like that. So we won't know how much damage he's done until the end of the game. But trust me, it's going to be a large amount. You can tell just by the amount of kills that he's going to get that this one was a high damage game. Just keeping his eyes up north here. They do have a lot of tanks themselves up there. But just any guns that can be pointed in the direction will help out. It's T-34-85 playing pretty cagey. He's in the centre, Tumtok trying to move around to try and get a better shot on them. Not quite got an angle on that ST. Gonna fall back again, maybe offer some help to this Panzer T25. Mm, looks like he's still trying to get some shots up north. But it looks like... Looks like the enemy tanks have fallen back from that position now. Did see a Hellcat and an M6 moving in. On what could have been his position. So he's just fallen back. Gotten himself to the second line. So we'll try and get a hit on this Hellcat as he comes flying around the corner. Does get a hit. Hellcat just stopped as he was about to fire. So that almost could have been... Uh, almost could have been a miss. Goes for a shot. Gets an accidental hit on the back of this Panzer T25 there. A little bit unfortunate. Does apologise in chat. Looks like the P Panzer isn't really that bothered. He's going to duel it out with the Hellcat now. And Tumtok just trying to wait for this Hellcat to head around the corner. Maybe going to try and lure him in. Hellcat, not sure if the Jagdpanzer is still here. And wait for him to try and come around the corner to get a shot on this Panzer T-25. And Tumtok will be able to take him out. There we go, gets the hit to take him out, and an OI starts steaming in now. He gets the hit and saves the Panzer T-25 before he gets taken out, and what a beautiful shot. That's kill number three now. This team is losing, though. Five kills to nine. Still looking up north, there is this T-67 threatening. There are still three tanks from the Allied team, and not a single one of them has dared to push over this hill and challenge this T-67 and the ST. To be honest, they had the numbers. They don't anymore because they've been whittled down. Having a look at this Chi Nu in the background now. Going to spin around, see if we can get a shot onto him. And only see the very top of his turret. That would be an audacious shot. Takes it. Not sure whether it lands, though. Spins around to try and get a shot on this ST. Gets a beautiful hit. Don't think he realised that there was going to be this much opposition here. And he gets taken out for kill number four. This is not looking very well at all, though. 13 kills to seven. It's just Tumtok left and this grill. T-67 is moving in. Gets a great hit on him and bounces one, which is good to do from the T-67. It does have 128 mils of pen, if I remember correctly. So that thing is able to do damage to a tank destroyer like this. He's trying to put some distance between himself and the oncoming enemy horde. 
And that's the best thing to do in this kind of situation when you're one of the only tanks left is just to try and put some distance between yourself and the enemy. Does take a hit from something as he starts to back away. And this would be a difficult position even with a mobile, agile, medium tank. But with a fixed body tank destroyer, it's going to be even more difficult. Trying to get a hit on this Chi Nu. That one just about missed, unfortunately. KV85 heads around the corner now. Gonna try and keep himself safe. It looks like he's ran out of space to put between himself and the enemy team. Gets a lovely hit on this KV-85. And wait for his gun to reload. Can he get a last hit? He can indeed. That was a lovely piece of luck there to get a not aimed at all shot on that KV-85. And that's kill number six, but there is still six enemy tanks remaining. And there was a Chi Nu moving in last time we saw. No, he's still behind the building. Didn't want to charge down with the KV-85. Chose to charge down now when he was all alone. And he gets taken out for kill number seven. Tumtok heading down towards the lake. Putting some terrain between himself and the oncoming enemies. And as you can see, decided to move across to the right-hand side. Like I said, to put more distance between himself and the enemy. The more distance you can put between yourself and them, the more likely you are to survive. Heading all the way onto the red line on this right-hand side, on the number zero line. And there we go, the M6 is over here. Gonna try and get a quick shot onto him. Before the M6 spots him. Looks like he's not spotted, actually. Unless the M6 just was not paying attention whatsoever. Not sure if Tumtok got spotted there. Starts to back away further into the corner. Doesn't have an Excelsior, an SU-100Y, an OI. There's the Excelsior. Can't quite get the gun depression to hit him properly. Does bounce a shot from the Excelsior, which is pretty lucky. His shot didn't penetrate either. Not got the gun depression to hit him from the other side of the hill. Going to have to go over the top. And he land this shot. He can't. Takes the track of the Excelsior off. Rocks forward and backwards. Going to try and make the Excelsior miss. That one goes through the turret. Which is the legendary weak spot of the British tanks. The Excelsior lands a shot. I believe someone has 33 hit points left. Some artillery shells did land. Luckily that one did not hit. That leaves an OI and an SU 100Y. 100Y was last spotted in the field. And it is a pretty slow mover. So it should be a while until it arrives. The OI also a pretty slow mover. I can imagine he may just continue driving down the 5-6 line. Tumtok going to maybe head towards the spawn area of the enemy. Maybe try and find their artillery. And there we go. The OI is over on the left-hand side. There's just two minutes left in this battle. Not sure if he's been spotted. I don't think he has six cents. And there we go, there is the M41, he is aimed in this direction, but what a beautiful shot to take him out. That's kill number 10, that is a well-deserved pools medal. And this OI is off in the distance. He almost certainly got spotted taking out the artillery there. Don't think he's going to go for a base capture, considering there's only one and a half minutes left on the clock. And there we go, there is the OI. Almost full health, so this is going to be quite the job. The OI just needs to land a shot even close by to Tumtok. Would be enough to take him out. Trying to go through the middle area of the side armor. That's where there is a weak spot. There is a line down the side armor. Finds the SU-100Y as well. Just one minute left on the clock now. To be honest, if this OI just backs off and hides, they are going to win this one. Waiting for the SU-100Y to crest over the hill. Takes him out for kill number 11. Now it's going to try and find... Ooh, how lucky was that? For that OI not to land his shot. His shots are still going through the side armor of the OI. He's angled pretty well. There's about 33 seconds left on the clock. He's got about two shots worth of health. And I think he's realized now that if he just backs off, he can get away. He can survive. Then he can win, but he doesn't. He gets taken out. That is the last kill. That is the win. 12 kills. God knows how much damage, but probably a huge, huge amount. An absolutely amazing game played there by Tumtok22, showing off his skills in the Jagdpanzer IV. Standing up all by himself against six enemies with a fixed body tank destroyer is no mean feat. Using the 
discipline of opening up distance between yourself and the enemy to allow him to get those kills and pick up the win for his team. So awesome replay from you. Thank you very much for sending that one in. Don't forget, guys, if you've got yourself a great replay, send that into replay at screenreality.com. Link for that's in the description. I've been Maxwell. This has been a World of Tanks replay, and I'll catch you guys next time.